and I work like a dog day and night. This woman poured herself a cup of coffee. All her colleagues stared at her. The next day, there was a coffee pot for her own private use. Even going to the restroom was difficult for her. She could only hold it in until she almost couldn't, then run to another building to find a restroom. Like this, she had to go back and forth several times a day. Each trip took 40 minutes, causing her to be unable to finish the work assigned by her supervisor on time. She often had to work overtime until late at night. When she finally finished the work and handed the data to her supervisor, it was thrown straight into the trash. Because the manned spaceflight data changed too quickly, each set of calculated data would be invalid the next day. So once the data arrived, it had to be calculated immediately. One day, the team leader gave her a pile of documents. She needed to calculate the data, but many key pieces of information were blacked out and unreadable. The leader told her that all this was classified, and in fact, the calculations had already been done. She was just going through the motions. Faced with ridicule, she still did her job. By using the light, she could see the data and discovered anomalies. So she began calculating and reasoning on the blackboard. Halfway through, she left again, running to the restroom. Meanwhile, NASA colleagues were staring at the blackboard data. To their surprise, the calculations were correct. Even the supervisor was drawn to it. When they learned it was Catherine, they called her into the office. The supervisor questioned her. With the data redacted, how could she figure it out? And how did she discover classified information? Catherine replied, through the light it could be seen. Mathematics and geometry were her strengths. Sure enough, under the light, the data was visible. From then on, he ordered that documents not be redacted anymore, and all following data would be handed to her. She also gained her supervisor's recognition. But right after the praise came criticism. That day, it was raining outside. She had no choice but to run through the rain to the restroom. Looking at her own miserable state, she could only sigh in helplessness. Meanwhile, the supervisor noticed she wasn't at her desk. When she returned, she was completely soaked. The supervisor angrily scolded her. Where had she gone? I can never find you. She explained she went to the restroom. He questioned her, going to the restroom for 40 minutes. The rocket launch was urgent. What on earth was she doing? Finally, Catherine broke down. There is no bathroom or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. And I work like a dog day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch! Leaving them to reflect. When people want to work hard to do something well, they are always met with obstacles.